Hello, I'm Dionic, and welcome to the romance sim we've all been waiting for. Uh, this is Love is Strange. So this is the romance sim based around uh, the game Life is Strange. Uh, I was completely heartbroken at the end of Life is Strange, and I wanted Max and Chloe to live happily ever after together. Uh, as well as, like, I, I, I kept fantasizing, or, or not, not really fantasizing, because it wasn't, like, from, from that perspective. It was more like, I wanted, uh, Max and Chloe to have Rachel, and, like, everyone to be happy, and th them to live in, like, a big house, and on a big bed, and fluffy clouds everywhere, and, and then Chloe could listen to her rock, punk rock. Amanda Palmer, and, uh, and, uh, yeah, Max could take her pictures of Rachel, and Rachel could, whatever. So, I, I don't think there's OT3s in this particular romance sim, though they might do something with that in the future. I have no idea. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so this is a visual novel, um, so I'm gonna do my best to get through all of it. I don't know how long the episodes are going to be. I don't know how many I'm gonna be able to do right away. Uh, so I figured the one that I have not seen a lot about was uh, Max and uh, Kate. Max and Kate. So I figured that would be the one that I would start with and then I would go probably uh, backwards in uh, familiarity. Uh, so then I would go with Rachel. And then I would probably go with uh, Chloe because everyone is going to be doing Chloe, and I figured I would get it out there for you guys in case uh, you know other people have been doing other people. Anyway, okay. Without me running my mouth too much more, hopefully I'm not. Uh, let me uh, actually let me move that over for you just a little bit so you guys can see everything. Isn't it cool to record and have access to everything, you know, right, right at your fingertips just as you're doing it? Yeah, yeah, it is. All right, okay. Okay, so here we go, I guess. Do you want to play the tutorial? Um, no, because we have, we did play the demo, uh, so we should be used to it. I, I, I... I think you guys are okay with it, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and skip the tutorial. And talk like a- ah! Insert groan here. We already did, sorta. Okay, so, uh, get up or hit the snooze button. Okay, so it's like going to be from Max's perspective. See, I expected it to be like, okay, well, here's Max. You know, pick, pick your, pick the, uh, path you want to have with the love interest. It's not, apparently. Or, or it might turn into that at some point. Uh, but, yeah, so, uh, if we're playing me, uh, as Max, I would probably hit the snooze button. Now, I, I, I would get up. I'd like to think I'd get up. I'd get up. I guess I better get up. Okay. The air is a little chilly as I push the covers off, and one glance in my mirror is enough to tell me that I look like a total zombie. Yes, she do. In other words, it's a typical morning for me. Yeah, that's Max. Ah, uh, someone's playing music. The people I share a dormitory with are worse than roosters. Well, it's probably, uh... What's her name? It starts with a D. Diana. I, I don't know. I, I'm guessing. Oh, well, at least I'm up. And I shouldn't make it a habit to be late to class. Anyway. I stretch out, yawning, as I make my way to the window to feel the sunlight on my skin. Lisa seems to be enjoying it, too. Uh, she's growing like crazy over the past year. My mom would be so proud. The plant! The plant that I killed because I didn't water. I thought I was overwatering it. If you guys go watch my uh, Life is Strange, or, or some of you already know, I thought I was going to overwater Lisa, and, uh, and I underwatered her because I'm a dork. Wow! A whole year already. 
It's hard to believe I've been at Blackwell for that long. I'm so glad that I came back to Arcadia Bay. Uh, and not just for Blackwell Academy, although I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a huge- If it wasn't- That wasn't a huge part! I like Seattle, but it never really felt like home. Arcadia Bay is the place I grew up in, the place where I made all my best memories and had so many adventures, each one is different as every new day. Pirates and superheroes. This was the best place to grow up. Well, I'm biased, but I really do feel that way. I don't want to sell Seattle short, of course. I lived there for five long years. I really do miss my friends there and my parents. I was so glad to see them this summer. But I know that coming back here was the right choice for me. I'm technically an adult now, which is something I'm still getting used to. I definitely still feel like a kid in a lot of ways. I'm lucky to have my parents support, my parents support, and my scholarship, which I've somehow managed to keep into my second year. Go Max! How did she land a scholarship? Like, like, okay, you guys get you guys get to see her grades, and then you're like, how did she land? But I, I guess she's really good at uh, what she does, right? It, good grades aren't everything. And I can't forget one of the most important parts. Blackwell's brought me back to Chloe Price, my best friend. Or more. It took a little while, but we picked up right where we left off. Actually, we did even better, because we didn't exactly part under the best circumstances. But the greatest thing about Chloe is that she's brutally honest with her feelings. Those first few weeks were seriously awkward, but we got through it. I'm determined to be there for her now, even if I couldn't before. Luckily, someone was there for Chloe while I was gone. Rachel Amber. She's totally gorgeous, and she's a really great person, too. She's almost too perfect. But she's one of those girls that's just impossible to hate, even though Victoria Chase seems to be- <laughs> seems to have found a way. At first, I thought that Rachel and Chloe were total opposites, but they're really more like wolves of the same pack. Let's just say that knowing the both of them is like being accessory, being accessory to every incident of dubiously criminal mischief in the bay. But even if I didn't have Chloe and Rachel, I've got other friends here. Two. Uh, okay, so yeah, uh, Dana is the one with the loud music, right? It, it started with a D. I, I knew it started with a D. Uh, don't, don't hate me. Don't, don't, don't throw your hate at me. Uh, Stella, Alyssa. Actually, I can count almost everyone on my floor as a friend. Yay! In this universe, Chloe's first. Sorry, Max is friends with everyone. Some kind of Freudian thing there. Even Brooke, who is, um, <laughs> abrasive. <laughs> yeah, well, she calls you an idiot at least four times in the actual game. It took some getting used to, but it's just her way of being friendly. Pretty impressive for a shy geek like me. Am I right? Am, am, I, am I right? Am I right? Take Kate Marsh, for example. She's one of the very first people who befriended me at Blackwell. Kate is probably the most kind-hearted person I've ever met, and she's an incredible, talented, incredibly talented artist, and will soon be ours. She's one of the only students at Blackwell that's un unbashedly, sorry, unabashedly wears her heart or, I guess, her religion on her sleeve. Okay. I know that she gets flack about it sometimes, 
But I think it's really cool that she worked so hard to create a comfortable environment for other religious and other abstinence, abstinence, abstinence students, even if I'm not in her Bible study group or anything. I get, al I get along with almost everybody, except for my neighbor across the hall. So, I, I guess we're... So I'm pretty sure Kate is one of the love interests, so I guess we're going to taint her soul. Unless it's very innocent. Unless it's really, really innocent. I, I don't know how explicit uh, the game gets. I, I think I read in, in their forum posts that, or, or uh, their blog posts that uh, there's not going to be any nudity or, or, or love making of any kind. It's just going to be cutesy fluffiness. Except for my neighbor across the hall. Victoria Chase is the head of the Vortex Club with all the reputation that goes with it. Even after a year, I'm not entirely sure what the Vortex Club even does aside from underage drinking. Underage drinking. I've heard that being in it is good for your resume. Why? But I never see them doing anything to actually improve or benefit the school outside of partying. Oh well, it's not really my place to judge, even though Victoria herself does a lot of judging. Hasn't she heard of the old adage about not saying anything at all if you're not going to say anything nice? It's hard not to wither, wither under that Ice Queen stare of hers, or feel totally lame in the presence of her $6,000 camera. Holy crap, I forgot about that camera. She has great eye, she has a great eye though. I'll give her that, because she is actually very talented at what she does. I can't spend all morning daydreaming by the window, though I've got, or sorry, yeah, though, uh, no, 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 there's a comma, and then a though. I've got to get dressed. I don't want to miss my first class. I'm sorry. Especially because Mix Dog, Mix Dog told us last week that they had a surprise coming up on Monday. I wonder what it'll be. They're one of the best teachers I've ever had. They're always supportive of my work and always smiling. I knew Maxwell, or sorry, Maxwell Academy. Okay. I knew Blackwell Academy uh, took on the best of the best, but I had to experience it to believe it. MX Dog is so freaking cool. Uh, I better hurry up and get going. Then maybe I can find some time to hang out with my friends before class starts. I have a feeling that Chloe and Rachel are going to laugh at my generic brand t-shirt and jeans like they always do, but I've come to terms with my style. I should make sure I have everything I need before I head out. Okay, maybe I won't be able to like just uh romance maybe it's going to be based on my choice makings maybe i i don't know i i didn't look anything up i just wanted to experience the game i wanted to feel it okay put on bracelet put on bag check phone well i imagine if i accessorize i'm going to be luring uh uh, uh, Rachel, because I imagine Rachel likes her bracelets. Uh, bag, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, should I just guess? Hmm. Well, you can't go to class without your bag. And checking your phone seems like the irresponsible thing to do. Uh, let's put on your bag. Can't forget my bag. And I don't want to forget my camera either. I'm glad it's managed to survive this long. It's really old and not in a cute fa fox vintage kind of way. It's legit ancient. But that's what I wanted. A totally timeless, or sorry, a total timelessness to my photos. Or, you know, ancient camera. 
As I slide my camera into my bag, I look at the little doe pin and that Kate gave me a few days ago. That's pretty cute. It's a warm bronze color. She said that she found it in a bookshop in Portland and that she thought I would like it. But I, or sorry, I do, no buts. No buts yet. I do, but I'm just flattered that she thinks of me at all. Okay, uh, so what? Do I check my phone now or do I put on, do I have to do all of these things? Maybe, well, we'll do this. Chloe gave me one of her punky spike bracelets a few months ago. I'm clumsy, so I thought I'd instantly take my eye out by wearing it, yeah. But it turns out that the secret of thrashing is that the studs are actually pretty dull. They can still poke your eye out. You can still just beat yourself. My wrist is still, is still hurting. I have not seen the doctor about my wrist. But anyway, I guess I really am ready for the mosh pit now, Sh shaka bra. The bracelet that I slide on next to it is all woven rainbow thread. Rachel gave it to me. I was pretty surprised when she did. Rachel's got like a zillion friends. That's pretty cute. Maybe she makes them for everybody. That's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. They all want you, Max. Uh, check the phone. Uh, I can't leave my room without a quick scan at my feed. Uh, the modern equivalent to reading the morning newspapers. That's a millennial condition, I suppose. Blah, 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 blah. Of course, Victoria's already posted her morning mirror selfie. Does she do selfies? I, I don't know, I guess she does. For, for, for the purpose of this story, she does. Like by 28 people, posted five minutes ago. Yeah, that, that's pretty much my life. Or the opposite of that, rather. But she does look really nice in that camera sweater, ca cashmere sweater. I, I'd hit, <laughs> sorry, I, I read that, I'd like to hit that. Instead, it says, I'd hit like, too. But I know she's not interested in my approval. She might never wear that sweater again if I did. So does that mean that uh, Victoria is not a romance interest? Because I figured, a big red thing where I just scratched my head, I figured that she would be. Nerd cooties, heh. <laughs> I'm kidding, I think I need to stop sinking to her level and being all judgy. I think I've got everything, but I have a feeling I'm forgetting something. Oh! My journal, I can't leave without it. I take it just about everywhere. Yeah, maybe because it has important, important details about you saving the world. Wait, can you? I, I wonder if there's still like time travel in this. I, I don't know, I, I think they said something about it in their FAQ. But I, I, I don't remember what, what the answer was, so we're gonna find out, together! Uh, I guess it's a little old-fashioned of me, and I know that just getting a blog would be way more secure, but I'm used to writing my, by hand. There we go, all set. Okie dokie. As I head out into the hallway, I finally spot the source of the music. It's all coming from Dana's room. We could have guessed. Ah, the door's wide open like it usually is. This is definitely way too much bass for a Monday morning. There's no such thing. I cross the hall, shaking my head. I knock on Kate's door, but there's no response. Maybe she's already headed to class. That is a possibility. I'm a little sad I missed out on her usual morning violin playing, though she probably wouldn't have been able to hear anything considering all the bass. Not that I would have <laughs> heard much of it over Dana's music. If I would have continued reading her, I'd try to where I'd see that. It doesn't surprise me that I can smell weed and hear the sound of spray can <laughs> drifting from the bathroom. Rachel and Chloe up to no good again. But I guess that's the company I keep. Oh, so 
Rachel and Chloe are still in school? Or at least, uh, I guess at least Rachel is, maybe Chloe's just hanging out. I, I guess she, she probably wouldn't be allowed on campus if she were just staying. I don't know, we, we took her on campus at least once. But I guess that's company I keep. Victoria's usually got her door open or, or playing, or music playing. Really, Victoria? Does she have her door? I, I don't know. Anyway, okay, whatever. We're, we're, we're just gonna read it like it is. Like Dana, but it's quiet this morning. I guess she went to class early too. I've never seen her show up late to anything. Oh, the places you'll go. Max, where to now? Okay, um... Well, straight to class would probably be the way to Kate's heart. To Kate's heart. Um. Well, the bathroom is where the two troublemakers are. I I really want to see if you can have your OT3. Like I I want to do it, but I I'm gonna hold off. I'm gonna do Kate first because uh, at, at least one person commented about them not being able to wait until the Kate thing happened. So I was like, okay, okay. I haven't seen anyone do Kate. Unless everyone's doing Kate, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe everyone's doing Kate, I have no idea. But we're gonna do Kate. And we're gonna be a responsible adult and go find Kate. If I go straight to class, I won't be able to go back and talk to Kate, Rachel. Oh! Okay, well, I'll go back. Well, I thought that... I, I thought that Kate was there. Okay, well, let's go to uh, the courtyard then. Who's there? I head outside the dorms and see Kate sitting on a bench out front. I rub out on the front lawn. Sketchbook in hand, up ahead I see Victoria focused on a bulletin board. I guess I do have time to chat. Okay, so I don't know if Victoria is an option. She might. That, that's Victoria's secret. She's really into Max. But we're gonna go talk to Kate. Hey, Kate. Oh, that's, that's actually what she's saying. That, that's what I was saying, but that's actually what she's saying, so okay. Kate looks up from her sketchbook and gives me a warm smile. Adorable. Good morning, Max. It's good to see you. I'm happy to see her, too. The commas. It, it's my fault. It really is my fault. Uh, come to think of it, it's your Terry. Come to think of it, Kate's been a little hard to get a hold of lately. Uh, she's seen a lot quieter than usual. She's not that loud per- not that loud- not the loudest a person to begin with, but maybe she has something on her mind. Whatever it is, it doesn't stop her from greeting me as warmly as ever. That's Kate Marsh for you. I missed your violin playing this morning. Not that I have heard much of it over Dana's music. Would have. I sit down next to Kate on the bench and see that she's sketching a few cartoon characters gathered around a fountain. Kate noticed me looking and smiles softly, pencil tapping idly against the paper. I thought I'd try to get some drawing in before class starts. When I'm feeling inspired, I always want to sketch right away, so I don't forget the images in my head. I look more closely at the page. Kate's drawings are always so cute and lively. That's Kate. She'd make an awesome character designer, or storyboarder, or an illustrator for children's books. Any one of those would suit her. I know what you mean. I'll drop every... Sorry, I'll drop everything I'm doing if the time is right for a photo. I can't believe you can do this kind of stuff with just color pencils. It's so cute. Thanks, Max. I've always loved your photos, too. I smell romance. Kate's compliments always warm my heart. The best part is that I know that she means it. She's so sincere and positive. Speaking of photos, what do you think MX dogs going... <laughs> Sorry, go going to surprise us with today. 
I, I don't know if I, I I don't know if I should be reading that. Mixed dogs, mixed dogs. I don't know. Uh, Kate's expression turned thoughtful, and she clasped her hands on top of her sketchbook. I'm not sure. They seem really excited about it. When I was helping them catalog our photography textbooks on Friday. I'd forgotten that Kate is MX Dog's assistant. Did they mention anything about the surprise other than it being exciting? Now yeah, they're being excited. I'm, I'm just gonna read like that. Uh, Kate laughed and shrugged and seems to glow. The cross. Sorry, the, the cross hanging from her neck catches the sun sunlight and flashes bright go and golden. You're always so curious about the world, Max. A lot of people would just say I'm nosy. That's also true. I like how she's got the uh, got got the dough on her shirt. Kate gives a little huff and continues drawing in her sketchbook, her pencil delicately tracing curves and lines. I think you just have a knack for adventure, like Gloria here. She's an amateur detective. Oh, someone you're drawing. Kate points to one of her characters in the drawing, a small figure peering into a fountain with the huge inquisitive eyes. With huge inquisitive eyes. A little cat tail pokes out from under the character's long coat. That's adorable. Thanks, Kate. Uh, I'm glad you believe in me. I should get going, though. Kate nods. I wouldn't want you to miss MX Dog's surprise. I'll catch up soon. See you, Max. Okay, alright. So, uh, we will... We'll go back to the hallway. We'll, we'll go ahead and we'll talk to everyone. Um, but for now, I'm going to end this here, I think, because it's 26 minutes. It seems long enough. It seems long enough. Well, let's go to, actually, let, let me go pause it in the middle because uh, I actually have to start dialogue in order to end it. So let me go check that out. Let's go to the bathroom. When I reach the bathroom, I find Chloe smoking in the corner slouching there with a joint uh, pinched between her fingers. Okay, so we're actually gonna stop it here with Chloe smoking a joint in the shower. Ah, uh, yeah, so thanks so much for watching. Leave a like, comment on what you think of the game so far, go check out the other videos I've done, and I will see you soon. Uh, yeah, I, I bared it down. Ooh. Brian Goodwin. Okay, well now he knows who you are.